What's up Team KBA? Now, if you've been following my channel, you would have known I've been on this like evolution of my camera setup, my equipment, my everyday carry. And through that, I want to share some of the stuff that I picked up, researched and invested along the way to help update the workflow that I have right now. Here's my insanely packed Peak Design Tech Pouch V2. If you literally want something to carry everything, uh, new to V2 are some of the additional hand straps that makes life easier when you're handling it, which is probably good to see when it's fully packed out, strapping towards the bottom on either side so you can hand and grip it. And you've got this carry handle on the top as well. It leans more towards the back, convenient to carry if you're taking it outside of your backpack or you're just carrying it on its own from one place to the other some attachment points. These are some stitched D-rings, Peak Design anchor link points, and you can attach a strap. It doesn't come with any kind of strap like the field pouch. Transform this into a carry crossbody or along your shoulders. I've got the Midnight Blue, which I really like. It's weatherproof. If you're looking for something durable, this is going to do the job. And the zipper is also weather sealed, waterproof and reversed for that clean profile. One handling point here, so you can hold it like this. Carry points from all sides, one here, one here. Grip the entire organizer from the bottom and then a carry on the top. And then we've got the PD logo sort of etched into this leather fabric. And that is pretty consistent with Peak Design's other like everyday carry. This literally just glides, even though it's really packed out, it just glides along the corner so easy. Everything kind of cinches into the stem on the bottom, which makes opening and closing a breeze. There's a ton of things inside and these aren't even the biggest things, but should give you an idea of what I like to rock. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections. And within that you have additional organization points. So the outside tend to be great for your bigger items. And then we have three elastic pouches that are fairly wide. And then on the bottom, we also have that too. One, two, three, four wider elastic pouches and this is great for your medium sized stuff and then going towards the center it's the entire width for access cavity and you've got two additional elastic loops plus a zippered section with three extra loops let's start from the outside what i tend to put on the wider elastic pouches are the bigger stuff so that could range from a camera battery I also like to use these for my USB cables because, you know, sometimes they can really spoil around, whereas these elastic pouches, they kind of condense them and make sure they're not everywhere. One here, this is micro USB for some stuff I'm still rocking. This is my Galaxy Watch for wireless, like magnetic cable. So for my watch here. On the other side in the middle, this is my Walkman MP3 player that I'm still rocking. If I'm on long flights or long journeys and I need to preserve my battery, having it connected to this independently just preserves that and this will last crazy. High res and uh, yeah, nice and compact. Matches the blue as well. I have my portable power bank. This is a hefty one from RAV Power. Um, I'll put some alternatives since they don't make this one anymore. But it's a 27,000 milliamp with Type C. Uh, so you've got micro USB, Type C, and then two USB A ports since I carry a lot of tech. This is where I have my more robust USB cable. So it's from Nomad. Really like their cables and it's the defaults of my own personal ones I tend to have. This transfers up to 100 watts, USB C to USB C. Um, has a nice um, cable tie and this is braided with Kevlar. So for heavy duty stuff, this is great. And this is running about two meters, I believe. And these are my Sony sports wireless headphones that also double up as an MP3 player. Don't want to carry my phone or just want to stay light. I can load music onto this and I can listen to music on this or through Bluetooth. Really good quality and it's waterproof. So you can actually swim with these. We've got a few more stuff. I've also got another USB cable. There's gonna be a ton of USB cables in here. This is for my backup hard drive. It's always nice to have a portable light. Um, this is actually great if you're just traveling as an emergency and you can see it goes fairly bright. We can adjust this. This is from Aperture. You can also get the newer edition, which has USB-C uh, charging, much more powerful. So if you need additional 
travel lighting, but also if you're hiking around, this is awesome. And I'm going to place this just here. Because of that, it's really compressed down a lot, nicely padded, and you can see my hand wraps around really easily. And we still got quite a few things in the centerpiece. So yeah, if you need to compress it down, it's super small. Of course, if you're creating a lot of time, you need backups. Um, I've had these for years, and these are the Western Digital hard drives. They're two terabytes each. And when you go to four or five, they start to get thicker. So this is the balance in backup space and the size. I've not had any problems with backing up. Of course, if you need faster speeds, then you can check out what I picked up recently, but as a backup to an active hard drive SSD or just for general um, backing up, then these do awesome. Really nice to slide into these pockets. Again, medium size. You don't want to put the bulky stuff towards the center because then that really packs it out. Definitely use the wider stuff for the big things and then the thinner and smaller stuff as you get towards the center. I recently picked up this active SSD for shooting, editing straight from and stuff that I'm working projects. So I don't have to use the space on my laptop. It is the Samsung T7 Shield. It's rated up to one gigabyte read and one gigabyte writing. It's like five times faster than my hard drive, water resistant, dust resistant, and also shock resistant. Um, it was like the same price as the T7. I thought this would be better to have. USB-C to USB-C, I keep both of these together and it slots perfectly inside. Earth set of filters for my camera. So there's more for like camera work. I don't really keep my camera stuff in this. The new Earth one compared to the Gobi set that I purchased years back, um, the variable ND filter doesn't stack among this, but the new one does. These are actually lens protector caps. So if you have an ND filter attached to your camera, you can just put this and that will uh, also work great for protection. Um, but I've got my variable ND filter from ND2 to 400, polarizer that you can also adjust and a UV filter. Truth be told, I literally just needed it for the variable ND and the polarizer, purchased them separately and still want the lens protectors. So when I'm traveling, I don't need to put them in another bag, then it's just cheaper to get this. Now we get into the centerpiece. I've got this Ziploc, any Ziploc will do, but I've got mine from side by side. And these are really useful for any of the smaller bits. It's also well made translucent to see, and I like the zip on this too. And that's just for my watch for straps. I like to switch from the white and the black now and then, uh, but I also have little bits like a USB-C to USB-A adapter for my phone, USB-C to USB-A. And this one is made by Nonda, which is very stylish. These are the covers for my multi-shoe interface for my cameras. Always good to have just in case. And that slots here. So you could also throw in like cash, cards, ID. Um, you can slide these so it won't get affected by everything else. Last few stuff, I've got my Sony MRW S1 card reader, which is useful to have straight from shooting straight to plug into my laptop. Um, this is a USB-A port, but you just slot in your memory card here and it will read it. SDXC UHS-2 compatibles. If you have faster cards transferring at the fastest rate. It's also very affordable too. That's literally it, uh, but it gives you a better view of the pouch itself. It's like a gray sage liner and just the amounts and variety of organization options in this really makes it an excellent tech organizer. Really bright access few loops for your stylus, your pen. Uh, I probably would stick a stylus or a retractable pen, but I wouldn't put a pencil in there since if they're long, then it's just going to rub against the corner. This loop is okay. You can pretty much replace it with anything, but I like the, the zipper. We have this external pocket, which is great for flat items. You don't want to pack thick stuff in here because it will press into the body. So I've just got my Arc Touch mouse great to travel with, not the most ergonomic, but when it comes to slimming down your stuff when you're traveling, this is awesome. Field notes pad if I need to write down and get a bit more analog with how I like to create or plan. Like a nice zipper, really smooth. 
Um, they've heat pressed the corner so it has the same sort of strap as the inside. It's not as rugged as the, the main one since if we look here, it's a lot thicker, a lot more robust. Um, and I really like this loop as well, that stitch. So again, that feels smooth in its compressed state with nothing in there. If you literally need to stuff it and pack it among everything else that you have, then this is going to work just fine. Now that you've seen the inside and this is like the accordion look, now let's put everything back in. I'm going to slot this. And when you fill it up, the great thing, because it's got an accordion layout, then even when it's spread open and got some weight, it honestly just stays sitting on your desk really well. So I'm going to drop that in. Let's put the camera battery back in there. And these bigger sections on the outside are great catch-alls. You don't have to think too much with how you want to put them in. And let's just open that up card reader, MP3 player. I could put it on the other side, but I'll just put it here with my sports headphones. Have these facing inwards, I'll slot the filters there. Cables on the side. Hut cable here. Micro SD cards in the zipper. Strap in the center. And then the final few cables. One or few cables, I'll just put that here. And then lastly, my LED light. And then if it's all like compressed to this side, you can just push it down. So there you have it. That is a look inside my tech organizer and everything that I'm carrying with me. Let me know down in the comments which part of the gear you like, as well as the Peak Design tech pouch. Always interested to hear your thoughts. So thanks a lot for joining me, Team KBA. If you like what you saw, if you found this video useful, give it a big thumbs up and you'll see everything linked down below if you're interested in picking them up or it's right for you. Stay tuned for more gear videos like this one. See you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace. Yup.